Four wheel drive independent front suspension systems have been used on a lot of pickups since sometime in the 1980s. Consumers started demanding pickups that were more and more comfortable, something they could use every day rather than those old school solid axles, which just rode like a covered wagon. This is a GM eight and a quarter inch front differential that we pulled out of our 88K1500. And that's the first year GM used IFS on a full size four wheel drive truck. Now, a lot of people have no idea how these things work inside or what it takes to disassemble one. So today we're going to take a closer look. But first, we'll do a comparison between an IFS front end and an old school solid axle. They're actually much more similar than you might think. Both have a ring gear inside and a pinion gear that's attached to a drive shaft coming from the transfer case. And both have a way to disconnect power from the wheels so you're not spinning the whole drive line when you're rolling down the road. On the old school axle, it's out here on the end of the hub. And on the IFS front end, it has an electronic disconnect mounted inside the axle. And that's where we're going to start our teardown. This is a thermal linear actuator and it simply unscrews from the housing. Then a few bolts come out and the diff comes apart. Here we can see the passenger side two piece axle disconnect system. This is what creates the link and power between the spinning wheel and the rest of the drivetrain. It's a cool combination between electronic and mechanical parts. And this is how it works. As you apply 12 volts of power across the coil, the actuator heats up inside, expands and pushes the rod out. Then when you remove power, it contracts back in. The actuator installs into the side of the housing, and as it expands, the end pushes out against a shift fork. There's a small dowel on the outside axle shaft that centers the inside, and as the shift fork extends, a collar slides over the splined areas of both part of the axles, engaging four-wheel drive. Then, when you disengage it, a spring pushes the shift fork back, releasing the collar. And finally, there's a small switch that tells the light on the dashboard when four-wheel drive is engaged. Disassembly continues with a few more bolts holding the main case halves together, and a pry bar opens them up. The CV flange on the driver's side is held in with an internal clip, so it takes a bit of force to pop out. From there, the carrier comes out and it looks just like any other rear wheel drive differential you're used to looking at. Now that you have the cases fully split, you can do several things. Put on new bearings to quiet down a noisy differential, reseal it to prevent a leak, or you can even re-gear because there are a lot of different aftermarket ratios available for the eight and a quarter front end. Now that you've taken it apart, it's real easy to put it back together.